Welcome to Motorsports International, um, Orbit Mass, third rock from the sun. My name is Rich. Uh, last video I left you with, if you remember, we had a motorcycle that was in neutral, and the clutch was fully engaged, out, you weren't touching it. And with the rear wheel off the ground that was spinning, why was that? This is the reason right now, in case you're wondering. It's fluid coupling. This is how fluid coupling works in a transmission. There's no sound to this. Let's, I'm gonna stop this right here. Let's say this is the input shaft of the motorcycle transmission, and this is the output shaft of the motorcycle transmission. So the output shaft of the motorcycle transmission is directly hooked to the rear tire. There's no interruption. So in neutral, this input shaft, which clutch out, spins all the time, and the output shaft does not spin, because there's no, this is the input shaft of the motorcycle, and this is the output shaft of the motorcycle. So this output shaft, if you will, is always connected to the rear tire, solid, no brake. This input shaft of the motorcycle transmission is connected to the engine, and in neutral, it spins. But there's no mechanical connection between the input shaft and the output shaft to the same neutral. But there is a fluid connection. Let's say this is the input shaft. The output shaft starts to move. That's why your rear tire is spinning. The medium in between here is the engine, engine or transmission oil in a fluid coupling. It's not a very good fluid coupling. It's quite inefficient because this is not a design, this is a result of design. So, we're going to put a block in there, in other words, reduce the oil level. The input shaft stays the same. The output shaft, the rear tire, slows down because there's less oil. So that's how that works. If you want to know more about fluid dynamics, um, Talkerbird is using conventional cars like from the 60s and 70s. Use fluid coupling band, it's quite complex if you ever wanted to look into it with the uh, talk converters. <laughs> Next week, I'm going to tell you about how a transmission shaft can rotate and the output does not rotate even though they're fully meshed. I'm going to explain that next week. Talk to you guys.